What's going on, everybody? We're in the midst of some gifted subs. I think that was the last one. So now we're going to do this cube draft. What do you think about that? What do you think about it? So Pattern of Rebirth is in my cube as well, and I really like it. It's kind of like a channel tooth and naily effect where like you just search for your best creature. But you have to have a way to actually kill the creature. So I feel like mono green isn't the best shell for Pattern of Rebirth. You kind of want a black green deck. Stuart, I know you just donated those subs because I taught you the true gift of channel, and, and that's okay. Maybe we just take pattern. Just let your opponents kill the creature. Yeah, they're really eager to once you put this on there. Everybody wants an Emrakul to just pop right out. I'm going to try it. Let's try pattern of rebirth nonsense. Oh, Grim Monolith. That's pretty good. Rob, how do you know what was in that pack if you're only if you're only listening? That's really weird that you would just name a bunch of cards that were in the pack, but you're in audio audio only. I don't understand. Stop it. Get some help. Bjorn, what up, my dude? Good seeing you, buddy. I love that you're drafting the same nonsense so far. It's a real situ situation of, you know, don't don't fix it if it ain't broke, you know? Guys, I just saw that if you have T-Mobile Tuesday, across the Spider-Verse tickets are $5 for you. I guess we just take this Ulamog, right? Because Ulamog's a dude. When it, this creature dies, that creature's controller searches their library for a card and put creature and puts it on the battlefield. Yeah, I'll put this guy on the battlefield, sure. I think we're looking to be black green. Because we want to be able to just kill our guy at like the end of their turn. Hmm, it's dies, right? Yeah, okay. Not leaves the battlefield. If it was leaves the battlefield, I'd be like, hmm, coma? But maybe we just take the coma to play it on this. I'm also drafting, and wanted to be noted that every time I draft a Savannah, I sail out to myself Savannah for Rob. <laughs> oh, man. That's good times. Okay, so is it coma that we can not cast but get with pattern, or is it Kogla that we can cast? Honestly, I feel like Oath of Druids and Pattern are a little bit at odds because you want creatures to put the pattern on, so you're going to dilute your creature count anyway. I'm taking Coma. Whatever. That card's amazing. I never, yeah, like, I never get to play this enough, and it's so good. Actually, Liliana's not bad. Like, you can literally just make a Mana Dork, put this on a Mana Dork, and then Liliana the Mana Dork, so that's kind of cool. I mean, I would prefer to be... Uh, end of turn so that they can't really respond to it. There's been a murder in Savannah. Hmm. Vraska is pretty good. You can kill your own creature. Oh, you can sack your creature. That's fantastic. Vraska and Pattern are basically made for each other. <laughs> Stop looking at my little smirk. Every time you say that, a person drops dead in Savannah. You're on their most wanted list. <laughs> oh, God. That's terrifying. Oh, wall of, root, wall of Roots. There's also a Nurtured Peatland, which is nice, but I think the, the early creatures are more important. So this weekend, I actually have tickets for David Cross, which I'm really excited about. I've been a big David Cross fan for, God, 
20 years. Devoted Druid again, it's a Pattern Rebirth, guys. <gasps> Devoted Druid and Pattern of Rebirth is a combo on its own. You literally just put the thing on it and then you then you just kill it with itself. We're going big brain mode here. Wow, turn two Devoted Druid into turn three Pattern is literally just a channel. Wall of Roots is the same, but it definitely takes... Slow, right, it's slower, right? Because you can only use it once a turn. But you can just start aggressively taking counters off. I'll take one off on your turn. I'll take one off on my turn. I'll take one off on your turn. I'll take one off on my turn. <gasps> it's your turn? At the end of your turn, I'll take one off. And then he dies. And then you get the... The, the, the end of the turn thing that you wanted. What is this? <laughs> chicken pot, chicken pot, chicken pot pie. <laughs> Oh, Lord, man. Mr. Show. Oh, this is Just Shoot Me. I don't even know his Just Shoot Me uh, stuff. Is that, that was a David Spade sitcom, wasn't it? You know what? Maybe we're just Sultai, right? Yeah, he, I definitely don't remember uh, David Spade being a regular on Just Shoot Me, so that's pretty hilarious. Someone carry at it? Sure. Chicken pot pie? <laughs> Oh, God. Also, do you guys remember the burn victim on Mr. Show? Do you remember that skit? Oh, Poseidon is real good. Augur of Autumn is pretty good, too. Yeah, I'm taking the Augur. Oh, wow, the Kogla and the Tireless Tracker came back? Holy crap. So basically, they just don't want green. No one wants green, I guess. So that's pretty cool. I think it's Kogla. Tireless Tracker is really good. I'm going to take the Ashen Rider just in case. Oh, Thrag Tusk? Sure. Plowunder? Wow. Okie dokie. Here you go, guys. This is a gift for you. Oh, a Mox Jet? <laughs> In our black, green, blue deck? Sure. Okay, you know what? That sounds nice. What do we want back from this? Eternal Witness would be good. Brazen Borrower would be fine. Baleful Strix would be mm, kind of pushing it. Oh, wow. Noble Hierarch? That's beautiful. Can I get a Sultai Noble Hierarch? Like a... Conspiring Hierarch? I don't know. Anyway, we're taking it. We got the Thrag Dusk. Marriage saved. <laughs> See, that's funny. Hey, that's pretty good. Emrakul. We can also just get channel as well. Oh, I like Suspicious Hierarch. That's pretty good. Yeah, we're taking Emrakul. Come on. There's a Leovold in here too. But, come on. We could also get another channel, right? Come on. Good lord. This is the only deck he drafts. Yeah, we like having a good time here. I have chicken pot pie in my head now. I just keep repeating that chicken pot pie jingle. So I hope you're happy, Stuart. Oh, Phyrexian Tower. Boy, does that go well with Pattern of Rebirth. For the rest of your life. <laughs> yeah, that's how it seems. Okay, so there's this song that plays on the radio here in Fort Collins about the tree farm. And it's like... You take I-25 to exit 326. And something, something, something to the tree farm. And it's stuck in my head forever. It'll never exit my brain. 
and even Katie, Katie got called in. Uh, she was doing some on-call stuff this weekend for a local hospital here in Loveland. And she was literally humming it while she was doing radiology work there. And so it's like, I'm like, dude, I want to hate it so much, but it's like, it's catchy and now it's in my brain forever. So that's cool. <sighs> they do work. They really do. Do you have cars for kids? Not anymore. I no, not here, but I know cars for kids. And I actually thought cars for kids was not around anymore because I just hadn't heard the jingle, but it might just be my location. Oh, Solemn Simulacrum's a good dude to sacrifice and a good dude to fix our mana. <laughs> Just cast J.G. Wentworth, who's been in our heads for literally 30 years. Totally normal. I wish we could get any fixing land. That would be amazing. I guess we only have two blue cards, so we're basically a black green deck. I guess Bitter Blossom could be good. Actually, what if we Meat Hook Massacre to kill our guy, and then we can also kill everything else, too? Let's Meat Hook Massacre. There's no Dothy in here. What are you, crazy? You sound like a crazy person. Cabal Therapy actually gets rid of a card. But I don't know what they have. Like, Cabal Therapy is a really good card in Constructed, but I don't think it's actually that good in Vintage Cube, because, like, it's all one ofs, right? Like the best part about constructed is like, hey, I know your constructed deck. I know what you're gonna play on turn two or turn three or turn four. I know your deck's game plan, so I'm gonna name what you're gonna play. Yeah, I think it is Signet. Um in Vintage Cube, like that just doesn't work the same. You know what I mean? Like you could be like, oh, I'll name channel, and they're like, Okay, here's my hand. Oh, you had a natural order. That sucks. I guess I just died a natural order now, right? I mean, I guess you could just play it. Normally, see their hand, sacrifice a creature, do it again. We are in the Dark Depths colors, so I'm going to take it because I don't think it's that much worse than Knight's Whisper if we actually get the components for it. I also don't think we've passed anything for it. I don't think we've passed Crop Rotation, Thespian Stage, or like Vampire Hex Mage. Can we evoke a Shriek Maw and then before it dies put a Powder or a Birth on it real quick? Please no one answer that thinking it's a serious question. No, you can't do that, stupid. You clearly don't know anything about Magic the Gathering and timing. Also, there's like been 900 um, Lord of the Rings spoilers that have been dropped today. It's, it's kind of unreal. No, you can't. It would need Flash. Please learn some MDG rules. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I don't think we're upheavaling. I just want to take Ugin, kind of. Only one way to find out about the Shriek Maw. <laughs> yeah, there's really no way. <laughs> if only I knew. If only someone could tell. I think we're taking Blooming Marsh here. There's got to be a better way. Oh, sure, I'll take Anissa just for the sake of having Anissa. We're going to the tree farm. I wonder if I could find that online. And then I can get it in your heads, too. Oh, Dothy Voidwalker came back. Double green, double black is rough, but... But maybe, you know. Get Shriek Ma to the five slot. Okay, fine. God. Look at this stupid red mox. Get out of here, red mox. Nobody likes you. I do like Mana Vault, though. Oh, I, I put Jungle. Definitely got to be Jingle. Is this it? Hold on. I might have found it. Any five. 
exit 235. Then five miles west to the tree farm. That's literally some people singing the jingle. God, it's it's literally everywhere now. <laughs> oh lord. I think we're just taking mana vault here. Actually, it might be Misty. I think it's Misty because this is two of our colors and it gets us any other dual lands, like an Indatha Triome. <sighs> I don't care about Fast Spot. It might just be Triome. This is a Swamp Forest. It's pretty good, right? Gary! I wish this was a... Um... Trying to think of the triome name. <gasps> thespian stage. Ooh, that's exciting. This is our three color thespian stage deck, and I passed a crater hoof, so. I will now refer to all green decks and forests as the tree farm. Do we have any creatures that can get lands, though? You know? There's your boy. That's literally what we we're hoping for. I was like, I love having Oko with Vraska because you just make the, the food and then you sacrifice it for a life and a card. Oh, man. Oko's so good, dude. Oh, Breeding Pool. And a Sylvan Library? Fudge. God, I really feel like it has the Breeding Pool, though. Stage. OG Soul King, how far behind are you? Because we took Thespian stage like a year ago. You think it's Sylvan over the fixing, though? Like, we need blue fixing. Oh, God. It fixes, too. It does kind of fix. Stuart, I'm going to listen to you. You know what? I'm going to listen to you. I don't love it. But I'm going to do it. Karn. I think we're just taking Elvish Mystic here. Most people don't enjoy listening to me. <laughs> I appreciate that self-awareness, though. That's good. That's good to know. Eureka! Eureka's castle... Eureka's guess. I really love Chorus of Portal, but I think I just want the removal. I don't have a ton of removal here. What about Pattern of Rebirth on a Creature into Damnation? That seems pretty cool, right? Also, we definitely kind of feel like a Damnation deck. Not really, though. I lied. I don't think that's true. We also have Meat Hook Massacre already, so I'll just take Warm Coil Engine and call it a day. I typed it a while ago. He's like, I'll just enter it now, though. Maybe, though. Actually, maybe you did say that a while ago. Maybe I just read it now. Oh, God. I'm confused. Okay. Sacrifice a land, search library for a land, put on the battlefield, tapped. This does help our combo. Garrick? Sure. Toski? Toski! Man, I wish that breeding pool came back. But Stuart might take the Sylvan, Sylvan Library instead. Sad. Honestly, it might have come back. Like, it might have... The Sylvan Library might have come back because, like, no one cares about green, so... Fast mod can make a turn one Merit Lage. Can it make a turn one Merit Lage? Or can you just put both lands into play? Because you still have to activate. This comes into play tap, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. So you play it. 
and you play Dark Depths, and then you pay two more to activate this. So you have to have Fast Spawn and four lands in hand. Okay, I passed Courser because you already have Augur of Autumn, which does a similar thing. You may play lands from the top of your library. So that's the only reason I passed it, because I, I already have a similar similar type effect. We need two cuts here, huh? Just take I-25 to exit 325. Five miles west is a tree farm. You know, guys? The tree farm? I got Reclaimer right here. What up, Mark Lollagu? Oh my god, dude. Mark Lollagu, blast from the past. I haven't seen that dude in ages. We do need two total has been, yeah. <laughs> Last time I saw Mark was at the Pro Tour. Oh boy. We do need to cut two cards. It might be Meat Hook Massacre. I, I don't feel like that's great main deck. I like I like keeping Gary in here. Remember when Plow Under used to be good enough in this cube? Pepperidge Farm. I'm not sure. You sing a lot better than people in the video you looked up. You should record your own. Yeah, you know, I think about it every day. I'm like, is today the day that I record my number one hit single, Tree Farm? Hard to say, you know? Hard to say. I do like cutting the double black cards, but yeah, all right. I, I actually agree with that. I think that feels correct. This deck does look fun. I agree with you. Fingers crossed. That we don't die. All right, let's sort by color here. So yeah, two black, three blue, sure. So one, two, three. Can this get anything other than basics? Oof, that's brutal. Oh, it gets a triome. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven black sources? That's probably fine for two black cards, three black cards. One, two, three, four. Probably want to go to five here just because we do want Euro and Oko pretty early. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm actually tempted to play 41 because Dark Depths has to be, it's not a land really. It's literally a spell. So you can't have it as a land. Without channel, are both big boys worth main deck? That's actually a good point. You only need one. In fact, the second one's more of a liability. I like it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait, didn't I? Oh, we got seven in Mox Jet. Yeah, okay, cool. 17 in Mox Jet. That works. Well, like, even if we draw Emrakul, like, we can still go get a Coma, which is probably still pretty good. Plus, we have Dark Depths, Thespian Stage, then we can go get with Elvish Reclaimer. We have Sylvan Library to help us find it. Come on, we can... We can win. This deck is not as streamlined as our first deck, but... Coma do be stabilizing. You're right. And then we wait. And then we wait. Besides casting the gy the gyro, isn't that hard? <laughs> huh. Well, I mean, it's 11 mana, right? Oh, we're not casting anything. We're, we're pattern of rebirthing. But we also have... Um, Nissa to double our mana, so that's also very reasonable. I'll keep this hand, though I'm I'm not in love with it. I think it just sets up a lot of things. Like we can pattern on this guy and then sack it. We can play a lot of things because we have one, two, 
three, f like five mana on turn two. Well, one problem with this is that we don't have infinite forests. We only have like seven forests. We have a lot of non-forest lands. Oh, no, we have Indotha Triome, I guess. So it's eight forests. Like even right now, we have three non-forests in our hand. I mean, if we draw a pattern, next turn we just literally go land, mox, pattern of rebirth on this. Coma. Fascinating. One, two, three, four with tower, five. If we can get one more blue source, we can actually... We're, only, we're two turns away from a... From a coma. I'm over here taking exit 325 and heading off to the tree farm, you know? Yeah, I'm two turns away from a coma too if you don't win. That's funny. That's a funny coma reference. One, two, three, four, five. Next time we play this and sack this to get a coma out. But now no, I'm just killing this though. You don't, you don't need to have this in play. All right, buddy, coma's coming. Oh, well, I feel like this is pretty good for us. Unless we just top deck a pattern. Dang it. I had my fingers all crossed too, you know? So this is seven mana. Do we have seven mana? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, chameleon. You come and go. Always oh, yield to that thing. And now we get indestructible. Indes oh god, we're making another one already? Oh, this game's over. Three forests in hand, we're still doing great. You make a coil on every turn. Hey, look, Frank, we don't even live in Colorado. Don't put that evil on us. <laughs> yeah, but that's why I'm just sharing with you, you know? God, what a beating. This card is un unbelievable. This card doesn't get enough respect. Um, attack Ren, attack your face. <laughs> hey, yo, what kind of jingles you got in Arizona? Oh, we just win the game. <laughs> Fuck, well. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, my God. Jerk? Jerk is censored? I'm going to take this profanity filter off, man. That's wild. I guess I'll just submit. What, what? I want to know their, profan their profanity filter words. Uh, is it under input settings? No. In dual settings. No. Buddies, filter out profanity. Okay, we did it. Oh, that's a good hand. So we're playing all the, the all the modern standard bangers here that are just way better than vintage cards, ironically. So this guy into this guy. Probably into carry at it here, right? 
It's just better than a Demir Signet at this point. Well, that's rude. Still gonna Oko, though. I don't even care. Don't forget in Florida, though, you have Morgan and Morgan for the people. Office is Tampa. <laughs> A lot of profane commands now. See, that's funny. That's a solid reference. Bye bye, little Sebastian. Hmm, well, let me send a YouTube link. Yeah, that's right. I have the jingle free command on, so <laughs> get wrecked, buddy. Just 5,000 candles in the wind. Oko's a hell of a drug. Yeah, get in there. Attack Oko. Can we just top deck a Dark Depths? That would be sick. Oh, that guy's good. Oh boy, that's that's a combo. Oh, that's a wombo McCombo. One, two, one, two. We're oh we're some shot we're mana shy, dude. So what you gotta do? Oh yeah, next time we're gonna Emrakul, bro. Frexian Obliterator sees a tiny Frank and is trying to boop him. Frexian Obliterator, for those who don't know, is Baron Von Vaderham's cat. And he has his own Facebook page with a lot of followers and he's he's very cute. Although he's hairless in case that guy, in the case that turns anybody off. I know some people have an aversion to hairless cats. It's a Sphinx cat, right? How does one get into the lucrative jingle game? You gotta start writing, buddy. Start writing those jingles. Oh, they kept a card, too. Oh, boy. Emrakul's going to be popping out. That guy's good. Oh, yeah, we can just kill Devoted Druid with itself. It's going to be amazing. Oh, they're going face and face. Oh, they're going face and Oko. No, they're going Oko and Oko. Okay. Oh, they're going Oko and Oko. Yes. Okay. Final answer. That's fine. Oko's dead. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, uh, one, two, three. 
Bazinga, my dudes. My only version is to the little sucker butt leaving circles all over. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I believe that was Uncle Joey's job on Full House. Was it really? Was he a jingle writer? So here's the question. Do we just let them attack for a million and then wait till the end of the turn? Or do we actually open ourselves up to have some sort of like removal? I don't know what they could have in the green deck, but they could play their own Oko and make Emrakul an Elk, which would be very sad. Oh my god. This is, I can't even... <laughs> I can't even watch this whole thing. Oh, I'll rip Bob Saget too. Wait, Uncle Joey's job is to leave little butt sucker circles everywhere? Oh god. The memes are crossing. <laughs> Don't cross the memes. That's what Ghostbusters always taught me. Oh boy. Do we just do this? They draw three cards. That could be anything. I think I'll just take it. I think I'll just, I'm just going to take it. Oh, they're not going to do it. Oh, oh, this is. Oh, this is wonderful. Oh, I'm so, I'm so thrilled about life right now. This is it right here. <laughs> Jesus. Here comes mommy. <laughs> oh, the mommy. Remember that time we were like, let's draft pattern or birth to see if it works. It worked. That was wonderful. Our opponent took it very well. They were being very friendly. Oh, what up, Sniper Main? <laughs> uh. Okay, the card function as it reads. Put it on the sideboard now. Enough experiments. How dare you? Nick Squirt is so rude. Amazing. You guys come for the MTGO, but you stay for the jingles. I know how it works. Oh, wow. This is a hand. Interesting. Is that better? Well, we gotta play a land here. I feel like Signet is better. I mean, because we're we're playing a two mana spell instead of a one mana spell, so yeah, basic mathematics. Oh, well, that's fascinating. Okay. This is intriguing. Do they kill him on spot on spot? I was going to say on site, and then I said on spot, and then I got on the spot and on site confused, and then I just omitted the the. <laughs> oh, God, Watson, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to kick you, bud. Oh, dang it. 
Yeah, that guy was. That guy was. Ooh! Can we cast that anytime soon? Not likely. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's not looking good. See, I wonder if I just should have played a regular land instead and then played this next turn. That probably would have been better. This guy's much less threatening when you don't have both pieces. Yeah, that guy's fine. Let's just top... I was going to say let's top deck a uh, Pattern of Rebirth, but now we got Emrakul in hand. I don't think we have a discard outlet. Good lord, we do have a lot of lands, though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If we draw Kogla next turn, we can actually kill this. Do we have Kogla in our deck? I believe we do. Maybe not? I don't know. Maybe that was the last deck. Maybe I'm just confused. <laughs> Copy Phyrexia Tower. Solid strategy. I don't know if you know this, but... Uh, it's legendary. Yep, these are all very good things you're doing. I feel like they're jumping the shark here. No blocks. Sylvan Library, huh? No, that's not going to do it, is it? One, two, three. Okay. We might lose, guys. Oh, we do have Kogla. Look at that. It's in every deck. Don't be silly. This almost feels Meat Hook Massacre. I didn't even know we had Ugin the Spirit Dragon in our sideboard. That's kind of cool. We could just play that guy, too. That guy seems really good against them. Well, assuming they don't get Karn. The Karn was making some problems. But being able to kill an Elspeth and all the tokens is pretty nice. Also, Shriek Moss seems kind of meh here. Koma is a banger. I, I think our biggest issue was playing the Thespian stage the same turn. Like, I, I for some reason, I was like, we want to have this in play for next turn. But we could have literally just played it as our land next turn. Sacrificed a different land put it into play and then activated it as well. Like I I think we we put a huge target on the on the dude's head. Like if you if you a lot of nine times out of ten if your opponent just plays Elvish Reclaimer, like I don't care. If I see a thespian stage though, I'm gonna shoot it on sight. This is actually a lot of mana with Garrick, so I think we're actually gonna get a pretty early Ugin here. That's pretty good. Oh this is great. One, two, three, four. Gary. And Sylvie. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. We can just turn three Ugin. This is actually the perfect curve. Yo, nice. Mox Signet. Or Orzov or, or Signet, rather. Okay. Let's just draw a pattern here. Ah, oh, dang it. I didn't. I mean, we're just going to play Ugin, right? So let's not put on top. Um, I think we can actually play this. So go one, two, play this. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Maybe not. Eight. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. Am I wrong? Four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm wrong. We have exactly. Okay, so. Untap two lands. Psh, psh. Uh, I don't really want to have to sack a creature to do it, though. Like, there's no point in putting a creature on the board just to sack a creature. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Uh, 
There we go. Beans and cornbread. I mean, they're just going to tap and play Seal of Existence, right? That would be my theory. Okay, that's not a seal of existence. Okay, that's not a seal of existence. How many signets you got? Okay. <laughs> what a beautiful turn that was. Good God. Minus four. Smart. Biren, are you just naming the absolute worst plays possible? Or what's the, <laughs> what's the strategy here? Yeah, just go for negative seven. Just kill my Ugin, too. You're absolutely about to get March of the Machines, buddy. Don't tease the sickness. <laughs> what is that, a bunch of tutus? Well, they have six mana. Yeah, negative two to get rid of all the signets. Smart. I get rid of my mocks too, though, you know, so that's a bummer. Oh god, fractured identity? Okay, that's not as bad. Interesting. Do I have any way to cast Coma? I don't think so. Well, I guess the island does it. So, put you on top. Pay for you. Beans and cornbread. So, play island. One, two. One, two. That was really good, wow. One, two, three, four, five. Well, tucking doesn't really do much, right? I just, I have the Sylvan Library. I just get the same Ugin back on the exact same turn and replay it and then kill their Teferi. So, I mean, that seems not great. Okay. Yes. That is fine. Okay, they have three cards. What could they be? Oh, we get the ultimate Teferi next turn, or Ugin? <laughs> uh, that's pretty good. They gotta do something about it, right? Oh, God. Oh, God, what is this? Okay, that's fine. Oh, God, we get the ultimate Ugin? Oh, God. Oh, dear Jesus.
Gain seven, draw seven, put up to seven permanents from your hand onto the battlefield. Fascinating. Do we do it? We do it. Okay, Stuart says do it. Deal. Emrakul? Oh, Kogla. Okay. Vraska kills... Oh, yeah, okay. Ten, seven, huh? We'll say one, two, three, four, five... No. Five, six, seven... Fight you. Uh, destroy this, I guess. We have not used Garrick yet. I'm actually tempted to ultimate here and then just kill their Teferi. Is that silly? No, not really. Like, they have two cards in hand. And, like, these guys are going to win on their own without Garrick's ultimate, so. Used you, used you, used you. Okay. We're Gucci. I wish I had a human, though, so I can bounce my Kogla. But Como would be indestructible, so even if they like Wrath of God, like, it's pretty good. And we get three Planeswalkers and a Sylvan Library in Plague as well, so... You know. You got it. <laughs> Planar Cleansing is not in the cube. Yeah, okay. There are, I'm like, there are very few things that they're going to kill both their, their my creatures and my planeswalkers at the same time, so. <sighs> well. They have planeswalkers. We don't have many answers to planeswalkers other than, like, Maelstrom Pulse. We have, have Jace and both Teferis. That's pretty good. Well, I mean, even if they dug for upheaval, they didn't have the mana to cast it, right? Like, they still only had, like, four mana after they played Teferi. In order to, to Teferi, or to, to Jace and to upheaval, you have to have at least ten mana. I don't think they did. Three Signets and a Mox, four, and I don't think they had six lands. I don't know. Maybe they did, but... I mean, they have like four signets too. I am tempted to bring in something like Dothy Voidwalker, but. Double black is tricky. I agree. I agree with both Stuart and Nick Squirt. Oh. Okay. Okay. Keeping it. Keep a Reno. Boy. 
So do we play this now, or do we play Grim Monolith and play both next turn? Four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's like my concern is dru Druid. Yeah, I no, you can, you can do that anyway. Like I don't need to. I don't need this to be in play to sack it. Like I can play this and this next turn and still sack it. The putting the counters on it does not require it to be in play. I think we play Grim Monolith first because if they have some sort of removal, I don't. I think they might be in, like encouraged to get rid of this. And if they get rid of this, I don't actually care. If they play a Jace, they could have easily bounced this as well, and we saw Jace, so. Fuck. That's obnoxious. But whatever, bro. Okay, you got it. Really? Weird, why would you do that? That's so weird. They have one card in hand, so that's actually not bad for us, I guess. I mean, this is a turn two, this is a next turn coma, if nothing else, or we can put a pattern of rebirth on a, one of these guys. Um, We have to untap here, or else they just kill it with Thieving Skydiver, so... We don't want that. Here comes here comes a Teferi. Arena Rector. Damn near killed her. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. I guess we're just gonna. Guess we're just gonna play your girl. Is it a girl? Who knows? Oh, wow, we can put pattern on a serpent. That's exciting. Put a rebirth on a coma token if you get the chance. OG Soul King. Ooh, yeah, we're on the same page there, buddy. What? Really? That's rude. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Uh, when, Pattern of Rebirth says that creature's controller searches. So, not ideal. I definitely don't want to block that guy, so I guess they'll just kill Garrick. They have no cards in hand. That's great for us. Now we just have to survive. Huh. That is a thing, isn't it? Here we go. <laughs> Hope you don't top deck something, because next turn we're gonna 
We're going to do the deed. Oh, no, they have it. Never mind. This is bad. No, they just get to flip Jace in March of... of oh, God damn it. I messed up. They just ouster March on our Coma's Coil. <sighs> yep, that sucks. I can't believe I didn't see that. Yep, uh, it's so stupid. I saw it like a minute too late. That's <sighs> frustrating. That's worse. <laughs> oh, God. So I guess it, it, in a sense it wouldn't have mattered, right? Because, like, we would have had to come to this turn. I guess we would have drawn coma. That's so stupid, man. I mean, I don't know what our options would have been, though. Like, we like we can play Vraska and, like, kill one of their creatures. It's not super exciting. Like, we wouldn't have been able to act, like, get that in play and kill it on the same turn. Like, we also don't have the mana without Garrick to replay Coma right now. So, like, it's not like we had other options that would have been better. Like, we would have just had it in hand still. Wow. That's fucking annoying. Of course, you're, one of your two draws is treachery. Fantastic. Ours is Emrakul. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh... Yeah, I mean, Copy Island is fine, but we still don't have seven mana, and we're drawing an Emrakul. So, like, there's... I mean, we could top deck a Dark Depths. That would be cool, right? <laughs> wow. God, they just really always have it. Guess I'm glad we got rid of the Jace when we did. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we go to three here. So even if we... Even if we did hit a uh, dark depths so we just wouldn't have the time to attack them with it i'm actually not sure what we could even draw here that would do anything so cool well that's a bummer um yeah we can we can take care of two creatures and then we die to the other two frustrating i feel like if we played devoted druid they might not have had oust in hand at the time or march maybe and then like we just get a turn three pattern and maybe that changes the entire game like we played grim because like if they had an answer that could take care of an artifact and a creature like i'd rather them get rid of it on the grim Okay, I'll keep it and hope I draw land. I 
That's close to a land. That's basically a land, right? And now we got three two drops and our two pattern targets in hand. Dark Confidant. That's wild. <laughs> FBI guy, don't say anything sus. This guy is a narc. Oh boy. I wonder if I search for Thespian Stage here. Does it take two to do that? That's a bummer. I guess I can monolith and then use that, but that doesn't seem great. I'll just play Devoted Druid. I think Devoted Druid's a little better. Should be like you and Ark. God, they always hit a land. Amazing. Oh wow, aggressive, so aggressive. They didn't play anything. What a time to be alive. If you're a police officer, you legally have to tell me. Oh, God, if only that were true. One, two. Sylvie. And we're just gonna pass. Get in there. This this can be an instant, right? Okay, we did it. Gear per angel is a is a. It does not have flash, my good man. So we don't have double blue here, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is like ten mana. We're almost in hard cast Emrakul range, man. But maybe they didn't read the card. Maybe. Maybe. Oh my god, two lands in a row? The rich get richer. Oh, wow. What happened? What's going on? Oh, okay. Okay. I'm not searching for an island, bro. I'm searching for dark depths. No, just kidding. Thespian stage. And then I'm going to search for dark depths. Maybe you've heard of it. Oh, Kogla. That guy's fascinating. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I can activate him and then also do the thing. Why did he play that? I don't know. He's stupid. Um, yeah, we're going to use one of these. Yeah, this is fine. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mana. That's a lot of mana. Pat Head Roachman is a great name. I don't know what it means, but I'm a fan of it. <laughs> oh, I gotta scratch my back with this wonderful back scratcher that the reptile like company gave me. Oh yeah, right there. 
That's a ticket. I mean, they have a lot of mana. Eight to be precise. So I hope they don't have an answer for a land. Boy, wouldn't that be then wouldn't that be awkward? Get rid of your land. No, not my land. Yes, your land. No. Path Adroachment. <laughs> yeah, that's probably how it's pronounced. I just made a mistake. Oh god, this is that's the fattest daddy of them all. My, my, my main. I think I shouldn't have played this. I made a mistake. <laughs> Maybe. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, they're going to do something. What are you going to do? Roachman, no! Why? Sacrifice a land. The darkest of depths. Let's go to the next turn. Would you like that? Choose a dark depths to keep. You keep them with no counters on it, right? How does this work? Okay. Choose the stage one. Beautiful. Then it triggers. Because it has no counters on it. And then Marit Lage comes to the party. I will I will lose that one unspent mana, I, I acknowledge. And now they die. That was incredible. What an incredible game. What an incredible moment. Great moments in Magic the Gathering online history. Yeah, draw those cards. Do I have any free spells? I don't think so, buddy. Have you won any games fairly? You've been watching. You mean like attacking with like maybe two twos or three threes and then like, oh, my opponent's at two life and I have a three three. I'm going to attack them. No, I don't think so. That's incredible. I'm so... I'm at 38, and I have an Oko. I guess that's something. Sure. Wow, that was... That was something, man. I was here. Yeah, tell your kids. Oh, boy, our mana situation is looking precarious now. Watch, we're going to draw a pattern of rebirth. Huckles to self. I don't know what that even means. Oh, good. They have seven cards still. Wonderful. Where were you when the light left Frank's eyes? Yeah, it was today. That was unfortunate. Elking Monolith actually doesn't seem terrible. I'd love a Maelstrom Pulse. That would be kind of cool. Please stop playing things. Frank's luck with opponents just finding the right answer they need is fascinating. Boy, it sure is, isn't it? Boy, it sure is. Fantastic. But then it's still tapped, too. Yeah, that's no good. All right, well, I think we're just done. Actually, I mean, we got 400 life. 
Jeez. Uh, it's Pattern Rebirth. Are you being serious? I can't tell if you're joking. Is this a joke? Is he kidding? Guys, is he kidding? I don't know what's going on. God, Marari's wake is being a real piece of shit right now. I wish we had a Maelstrom Pulse. I mean, this guy's not going to live past this turn, unfortunately. I don't really have the luxury of double blocking just to keep Oko alive. Yeah, you got it. Also, having these cards in hand has been kind of a detriment as well, but, you know. Solitude. Incredible. Man, where's the Meat Hook Massacre when you need it? Well, if you draw it, you can only cast it for one. Ooh, boy. Okay. I've seen enough. Wow. Solitude. Remember when you Sakura Star lands with two six drops and a 15 drop in your hand? It doesn't ring a bell. Is that something that happened recently? I don't remember. Why don't we have this Ugin in here? I really like this Ugin, and he's just not in here. And I don't get it. Fascinating. Well, we're both playing the Pattern of Rebirth deck, so that's cool. <laughs> oh, boy. Shriek Moss seems kind of meh. All their creatures that we saw were either black or artifacts, so... Emrakul in hand again. This is how you're going to do me? Oh, boy. I think this hand is fine otherwise. Like, we have half of this combo. We have an Augur if we get another green. We have a Maelstrom Pulse. The Emrakul's rough, though. We don't really have ways to get rid of an Emrakul. So, the question is, like, if these six cards are better than the next possible six cards... And they might be. So we're going to try it. It's the same. It's the same. Oh, we get to put it back, though. So actually, we don't have... Oh, we do have a green. Yeah, this is actually better. It's the same combo piece, except it has a Noble Hierarch now. And then now Emrakul goes back in the deck. So it's actually the same hand, but we get to keep Emrakul in the deck. So that's fucking interesting. And we have an Oko, which is just stronger in general. Oh, wow. Well, the problem with the first hand was that we couldn't cast Augur as it was. We needed a second green source, which I didn't love. Well, we do have a Sol Simulacrum to shuffle, so never say never. Hmm. That's a big girl. One, two, three. Is it? I think it's got to be Oko here and shut this guy off. And then we can play Solemn and make him a, a beastie boy. Mm, they're called elks, you, will, you see. Okay, got it, got it. Remember that time we had a Merit Lage and we attacked and they had Solitude? That was pretty cool. 
Just kidding. It was not cool. Oh, wow. He dead. Chupacabra? Grief. Fascinating. Okie dokie. Two cards under the reveal zone. What were they? Nobody knows. So one, two, three, four, five, six. This is almost a turn. This is almost like a coma next turn is, is what I was going to say. Menace, huh? That's assuming we only pay three a turn. This is one, two, three, four, five, six. We if we hit, we have to hit a land. Um, I guess Oko goes to four. Yeah, that's really good. Holy crap! Why does he go to four? I don't understand. I don't have anything to play here, so I'm just gonna pass. No one understands. That's fair. That's fair. That checks out. You got it. Why does Boo keep coming back after you attack for four, ping for four, and draw four? No one understands. You know, these are good questions they're asking here. Land? Euro? Hmm. Oh, they're just gonna do something? During my draw step. Sure. <sighs> Pretty good, I guess. Yep, just wasn't meant to win these matches. Uh, Dark Depths was not playable when you had to spend 30. The first thing people did was try to figure out how to get those counters off of it. Oh, wow. Okay. Well. You'll be alright does not seem correct. Yeah, just take your take your medicine. Also, Oko in the graveyard, devoted druid in the graveyard. All these cards add to my to my euro. I actually no longer have Oko, just to be clear. Well, that'll do, pig. That'll do. One, two, three, four. Fuck. I always got to do this first, don't I? One. Untap. Maybe I'm undervaluing Mirari's Wake. That card's cool. You really gotta have the payoffs in hand for it, though, you know? Like Solitude. <laughs> Which they're probably gonna cast right now. Tap this for two. Play my Solitude.
Okay, we gotta do it. Did they not know it could do that, or do they have another thing to do? Because they have one card. Oh wow, this is aggressive. Does that reach? No? Okay. Just checking. Grave Daddy, you got it. That's a good one. That's less of a good one. I guess it blocks. <laughs> it does the thing. Who knows? Yeah, this deck does not seem very Bob friendly. Is this just, are they just like gambling and hoping that it does the deed? Why not play Bob? It's card advantage. I guess that's true. I didn't think about that. Smart. Yeah, Grave Titan was pretty good there. So I think I actually just want to sacrifice a coil to tap this gravy boy down. Oh, they're they're digging. Sure. Oh, they voted for coma. Cool. How about an? What if I? What if I draw Ugin? Wouldn't that be cool? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I I can't cast the Ugin. Never mind. Yes, I can. I got a Frexian Tower. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So let's draw an Ugin. These guys are three threes. I have no idea why you didn't attack with them. Come on, get it together. Just give me that sweet Ugin. Uh, one, two, three. Might as well take a counter off. Come on, he can draw his Council's Judgment. Surely I can draw an island. Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's fucking fantastic. All right, one, two. Not as good as the channel deck, but here we are. I would love to go back to that match and see what we're going to draw next turn. Oh, I guess I'll never know. I can't. I can't check. It's too late. Yeah, cool. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. Slam the buttons. So you know what to do. Support the channel. Do the nice things. Help people survive. I'll see you next time.